Hi, I'm Reverend Dennis Harworth, and I want to give you a testimony of what God did in my life. Uh, the first Sunday in April in 2016, it was just like any other Sunday. I get up in the morning, I spend time in the Word and in prayer, and it, just as I got, after I got ready for church, the Lord told me to look up scriptures on breath. And the Lord gave me the scripture in Job 33, 4, which says, The Spirit of God has made me, and the breath of the Almighty has given me life. And I'm like, okay, I wonder who that's for. But since it's not in here and I can't show it to somebody, I went ahead and printed it out and I'm, I'm saying it out loud. I'm memorizing it. What I didn't know that I was speaking it over myself. So I drive to church. I get out of the car, walked about 20 yards, just to get ready to go in the church. And I let my wife Barbara go in front of me between two cars. And all of a sudden, I could not breathe. I could not take a breath. I couldn't, I couldn't call out to her. And I started getting all foggy-eyed, and I didn't know if I was going to pass out. So I went down on one knee, and that was enough to, to get me breathing again. My wife took me to urgent care, and they, they took one test, and they, they shipped me off by ambulance to emergency. And I spent a week in ICU uh, dealing with this. Um, what they found out, the reason why I couldn't breathe, is they took a, they took a CAT scan, and both lungs were completely covered with pulmonary embolisms. In English, it's blood clots. And the doctors could not believe that I was still alive. After a week, they sent me home, and they had uh, home care professionals come and, and deal with me. They had set up oxygen, oxygen concentrator, uh, a, a tank, so I could, if, when I, if I was able to get portable, uh, to move portable, go somewhere, I'd have an oxygen tank. And uh, uh, they only gave me, um, I could only walk 50 feet. I couldn't, I, I, I just couldn't breathe. I, so I was on oxygen 24 seven. So this is, this is crazy because this, you know, the doctor said this usually fatal. If I live, then I'll be on oxygen for the rest of my life, 24-7. But God was faithful. Well, little did I know that the word that I spoke over myself was for me. The Spirit of God has, has made me, and the breath of the Almighty has given me life. And when I got home from the hospital, I'm praying to the Lord, and the Lord reminded me of that. And he said, you literally were one breath away from eternity, but the power of my word sustained you. Praise God. The power of the word will always fulfill the promise of the word. I, I went ahead and, um, you know, finally got to the point where I could come to church with my, my, my tank rolling behind me. And praise God for, for uh, uh, Sister Lupe. Uh, she saw what was happening, and so she gathered together some, some of the pastors that were close by and some of the prayer warriors, and they all laid hands on me, and they prayed for me, and it was just like something happened. You know, God, God's word came true. God's, God, God touched me, and they prayed for me. And so from that point on, I started feeling better. I started walking farther. And so finally got the point. I says, you know what? I'm healed. My blood clots are gone, and I should not need to be on oxygen. It took another three months, two and a half months, to get to that point to where they actually were going to test me to, to see how my breathing was, because my breathing was so shallow. So he finally, they take me, and the nurse hooks me all up, takes me off of oxygen, and they walk me around the building so they can see if, if, I'm, if I'm doing okay according to the numbers of my oxygen saturation. And the nurse is looking at me, and she's looking at the thing. She's looking at me, and she's like, you don't need oxygen. Oh, praise God, went home and threw that line, the oxygen line away. I says, I don't need this anymore. And uh, uh, now that I'm, and now it's four years later. But I, the, God is so faithful. God is so good. I, his word still is set forth to heal. He is faithful to his promises. And now I can so appreciate the last verse in Psalm 150. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord.